This is N2LEN with another quick video clip. We're gonna. This is the Elecraft K3. The front panel is actually um, removed. We're gonna be replacing the keypad. Uh, basically, just a couple of quick things we're gonna be talking about the keypad. Uh, you wanna make sure that when you do this process, uh, you don't touch the edge of the LCD with a damp rag at all. The LCD will wick in any fluid and you could destroy the LCD and that's a very expensive uh, mistake. Uh, you should reference um, take a look at the K3 assembly manual pages 31 through 46 at least to help you. Uh, when you do this process and here is the new keypad uh, you'll have to disassemble to the bare front panel board. This is the bare front panel board after you remove all the plastic matrix. Um, you gotta remove, removing the sheet metal uh, after disassembling. Um, you can then attack the rubber and the plastic matrix removal part of the job under the rubber layer uh, and the plastic matrix. You must also remove that plastic matrix that's glued to the board as well. You'll have to peel up and you gotta peel it off the old matrix layers which will leave um, a lot of glue residue behind on the actual uh, front panel board. You could use your fingers and rubbing friction to remove the majority of rubbery glue before beginning to use the fluid to cl clean off the residue. Make sure you do not get any of that. Uh, I used uh, isopropyl alcohol and uh, CRC electronic cleaner to remove the residue of the alcohol. Just make sure you don't get anything on anything wet on the display at all using a clean rag. Make sure every time uh, clean all the residue off the front surface of the PC board where the new switch matrix mounts. It must be really electronic grade clean. And then what you do is when you drop in the new matrix and you peel off the actual backing, uh, align the new matrix by the holes as the old matrix was aligned. Uh, you peel off the adhesive backing, printed label, and while you maintain alignment, while you drop it in, you make the surfaces, and then, of course, you reassemble everything. And that's basically it. As you could see, when you remove the old keypad, this th when this is actually manufactured, this is actually glued to this plastic matrix that's double-sided stick tape that gets that then mounts here. Um, when you order the panel of uh, the actual switch array, here's the part number, you could see the new switch array which is right here. This actually comes as one piece and then you use a scissor to cut it and separate it. You can clearly see the color difference between the new matrix and then you peel the back and it's just important as you can see the mounting holes, the right side is a lot larger than the left side. Let me pick that up, you can see that as well. You can see the holes. And the backing have the feet. You can see the four feet. They literally slip in to the four holes. So you could align it pretty easily. However, it's a one stop, one attempt try because once you glue it down you're screwed it's important that when you peel off this is all this is all going to be sick down they're going to be plenty of pictures to show you what this looks like it's actually separate pieces but when it's glued down it's like one square you, you know just use a uh, to peel it up you know a plastic alignment tool and then there's going to be quite a bit of residue uh, you could use your finger and you just, like I was, re you know, mentioning before, you could rub it off or then use 
isopropyl alcohol and the isopropyl alcohol will dissolve the residue but it'll leave uh, it'll dry up and you'll definitely see swirls which is the um, I guess it's the residue of the dissolving of the glue and the isopropyl alcohol when it dries so then I use uh, the CRC electronic cleaner you can buy this at Walmart and that really as you can see that matrix is super clean, ready for the installation of the new keypad. Now, uh, once again, you'll notice when you use, when you peel this off, this is going to separate from that plastic matrix. That's all part of it, and then you have to peel the layers. And you can see how dirty this is. Uh, if you're having problems like I did with the uh, in the far left corner the band button you would press the band button and it would select other selections it's because these little insulators oop, I just popped out of my hand okay um, that that snap in through the back corners the little stub sticks out and the corners of the keypad can't glue down in that edge and the matrix was actually peeled up and dirt got under the actual push button contact uh, just make sure you don't get any liquid because liquid can wick into the LCDs when you're using that isopropyl alcohol use it very sparingly it'll do a great job keep the the keep all liquid away from the front Make sure that it's electronically graded clean before you install the new matrix. And that's basically it. This is N2LEN. As you can see, all the entire front panel comes apart. You remove the sub panels. And um, this is N2LEN saying best seven threes and good luck if you're having intermittent problems with your K3 keypad push buttons. This is changing out the... Oh, by the way, this was purchased in August from Elecraft, August 2020. The part number is E100-200 K3 Switch Array. And the cost in August was $13.80. Priority mail shipping was, I believe, $13. And that's basically it. Check out the pictures and you could see the disassembly process. This is N2LEN saying best 7-3.